So we're back here this season with uh, JD and Muzz again uh, in the National League. Uh, Pre-season now complete after today's 2-1 um, defeat at home to a very strong Brackley. But uh, gentlemen, how's your pre-season gone? Um, yeah, been positive. I think uh, it started straight after. Obviously, we gained promotion with recruitment. Um, we feel that we've recruited uh, the players that we wanted to get in. Um, and we think they've bonded and kind of gelled with, with what we want to do and, and the squad. Um, so, a couple of points from pre-season, really. Getting the boys, obviously, in good condition. I mean, I've got to say, they come back in, in, in good nick. So, that helped us. Um, then it's about, obviously, getting them to understand kind of what we want and what we demand. Um, again, we've seen some 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 good traits throughout the preseason games and in training sessions. So, on the whole, yeah, so far I think um, we've had a we've had a decent return from what we've what we've offered on preseason. Muzz, um, stop celebrating now. Now looking forward, uh, how focused are you on the new season? And, uh, uh, and have you set yourselves any targets? Um, really focused. I think obviously from the club. Right from the top all the way down to us and as a group of players we're really focused. We know it's going to be a real difficult challenge going into a real tough competitive league. Something that's going to be brand new for a, a lot of us. Some of our boys have, have been there and played in that division so they know what is required. So we are we're fully focused Giles. We know it's going to be a real tough test mate but we're ready and to be honest we just want to get going now. Pre-season has been good like Jay says. They, they're in real good condition. Um, today's been a real highlight of what the level's going to be about. Um, I, feel, I feel like we've played really, really well today. I feel like we've dominated big parts of the game and we've had big chances in the game and we've lost 2-1. Um, so that's a real key indicator to the level that we're going into that the fine margins are going to be big this year. So everyone has to understand that one lapse of concentration might cost us that three points or might cost us the point on the board. So. Real eye opener again today, so um, good workout. Anything else been really pleased about through pre season? Uh, I think the new lads really coming in because when you sign, I mean, we've signed quite a few. I think we've eventually numbers like seven or eight so far that we've got in. So there's always, you know, that's, that's, that's a big number, it's the number we wanted. But I think how they kind of adapt to, you know, how we do things and what they've done. And I think that's been a been a real positive, you know, it's been a, it's been a, a um, when you give players and maybe teams information for them to take that information on board, you know. So I think that's been a real positive um, for what we want to do in the games. Um, I think it's clear, highlighted um, when, when we've performed um, well in spells or in, or in games, you know, we've seen that. Um, so that's been, you know, a real positive. And, you know, like I said, we're going to be coming up against some, you know, very difficult opposition. So, you know, everyone needs to be focused on, on what we're doing. So, as you say, difficult opponents to face. Uh, some of them, clubs playing full-time football as well. Uh, what else do you think is, is a new challenge to what we're used to uh, playing at step three? Obviously you've got new substitute rules that we're not used to before. Anything else at all that's really sort of opened your eyes? Um, I think, well, the key thing for me going into next year is just fitness levels is massive. Um, it's going to be real, real key. Yes, of course, we've got we're in a scenario we haven't been in before where you're going to be able to utilise the five subs so that is going to be also key in, a, in a, all given football matches but the key thing for me is just making sure we try and keep as many players as possible fit yes look we're, we are us, us as a football club we're going to come up against multiple teams that have got lots more resources than us and like you say Charles full-time outfits that can't be our excuse we know what we're going into so we're going to be fully prepared and we're going to try and give the best account of ourselves as we can as a football club matching up against some real real big big size and like so full-time outfit so we believe we've got the boys ready and where they need to be as best as we can um so come next saturday which everyone's looking forward to we know we're going to play a real real good side who you know are going to be well drilled and good possession based team and we're going to need to be really good at possession and then when we do have it we need to be exceptional with it as well so tough fixture to start with but I don't think looking at the all the teams in the league you is there an easy one? <laughs> I don't think I said to James when the fixtures come out whoever we get home or away it was never going to be an easy one so all, all fixtures this year are going to be tough so go in there we go there with nothing to lose and the boys will give it everything and then after that you couldn't have asked for an even tougher Home, home tie, boring word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, can't 
I mean, we've we've worked so hard to to get ourselves here. You know, I think we've got need to just take just embrace it and say, come on, let's let's work out a plan. How we're gonna how we're gonna win these games? You know, be competitive. We're gonna set up to win every single football match. There's no there's no question to that. So let's let's no disrespect, but you know, we've we've done since being at the club for three or four years at, at, at the. Um, level below, and now we're now we're at this level. Let's embrace it. Let's make sure on and off the field we can we can be a national league club. You know, let's not sit here and, and make excuses. If if we come up against good sides, we'll work out a way of, of beating those sides, and we're confident that we can do that. And you know, we're confident we've got the right team and squad to do that as well. So you've got right squad. You've got big numbering. Is that allowing for the, the extra substitutes and some rotational stuff for the season? Yeah, I think you. I think we've done it last year, Charles. You, you've got to have a, a good squad because I think if you go through last year, what happened to certain individuals, injuries, etc. You need to rely on a squad, and you need to rely on that pool of players. So, we've made no no difference this year. We knew we, we know we have to have enough players. Obviously, I think the quality has gone up, and you can see that in our training sessions. The quality has gone through the roof, and um, it's good to watch. And Look then, boys. We will, unfortunately, well, fortunately for us, but unfortunately for some boys, they may not make the 16. Um, but it's it's really important that me and Jay and what we've tried to do and make sure we have a good team work ethic and boys that are together. And you know, if you're not in the 16 this week, as it proved last last year, there was lads that might not have made the 16 on a certain uh, certain date, certain fixture, and then the following Tuesday they're starting. So it really is important as a club as well that we, we back these boys and we do our job, keep them as fit as possible, ready to go for the next fixture. So have you got the starting 11 in your minds and have you discussed it between each other? No, I think um, obviously today um, uh, is the seventh game of pre-season. You know, it's, it's a shop window obviously for boys to, to, to impress. And I think, I've got to say, I think um, they've all done really well. You know, throughout throughout um, pre-season, so uh, plenty of headaches between obviously myself and Mars to go away and, and ponder and think about, you know, setting ourselves up for Eastbourne. Um, so yeah, plenty of headaches in different positions because obviously the squad's looking, you know, healthy at the minute. Um, but you know, I know managers say it, but you'd rather be in this boat and thinking about, you know, headaches rather than being scrambling around. So we're here. We um, do our homework and you know, as we always do and and detailed uh, report on, on, on Eastbourne and, and, and let's, let's try and pick the side out to, to get a result over there. The fans have been really uh, encouraged by the new players coming in. Uh, what's your message for the fans? Um, exactly the same as last year. Stick with us through thick and thin. You know, there might be a bit thick, thin, both <laughs> scenarios this year, you know, where we might be up and down. But it's, it's I think we'll be more evident this year if there are little dips, which we suspect there may be, um, well, there definitely will be. Um, it's really important that all supporters are with us and, and back us because their their support um, last year, in my opinion, got us over the line and won us, made, made a big, big impact in us winning a league. And we're going to need that next year, win, lose or draw. We're going to need them back out the following fixture because they really do make a difference here. When this place is full and we've got a good support here, it really is a tough place to go. You won't find many teams that come here and go, oh, it's a nice venue, lovely pitch, nice, easy place to play. Um, it'll be tough for teams to come here and the supporters only add to that. Well, I'm sure everyone will be on board with you. Uh, we'll suffer the defeats, we'll celebrate the, the wins, but we'll have a good time along the way. So thanks for your thoughts. I look forward to catching up with you next week. Thank you. Cheers, cheers.